Hello, welcome back to Let's Just Watch Reactions. We've got track two of the second hundred gigabytes of <laughs> from Drake. Um, this time we're reacting to SOD. What does SOD mean? Sod. You sod. Here in the UK, you're a sod. I've heard that actually used quite a lot, but I have no idea. Victoria, what does SOD mean? What does sod mean when someone here uses the word sod? It's sort of like a, it's like an insult sort of thing, calling someone like, almost like, Idiot, or, or say, let me just no. do a quick Google search and to confirm. Like, what is sod? you silly sod? I've heard silly sod. It's an offensive word for a person, especially a man that you are annoyed with or think is unpleasant. Yeah, it's sort of mm. like you idiot, you like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Come back for that sort of analysis, guys. See, whatever. Anyway, you know what sod means, at least from our perspective here in the UK. You silly sod. You sod. You absolute monging sod. That's how usually the word SOD is used. I don't know what on earth it's going to be used here. We know Drake likes to switch up his cultures and his accents here and there. So maybe that is what he's using. That's maybe that is what he's talking about. But I haven't listened to it. Guys, I'm going to listen to it. Um, let's see what SOD is all about. Three and a half minutes. God help me. Let's listen. I'm watching the moves playing the thing. That's on the super soap. Any day is his and hers, matching coke. Um, decent vibe actually so far, really decent vibe, but this isn't Drake, um, he did not write this, I, I, he reminds me of a very specific rap, I'm not, I'm not gonna say Yacht or Lil Boat, I'm not gonna say him, but this, ah, uh, Who's that one who did, I'm sick of these niggas, hey, hey, it is what it is, yeah, that one, whoever wrote, because I know it came out with reference like that Drake didn't actually write that one and someone else wrote it, whoever that was, I don't know, I'm just hearing that a little bit, all I know is Drake did not write this instantly, this is not his usual cadence, it's a vibe, still, it's a great vibe, um, great execution again, you know, Drake has the voice, that's his, probably his greatest attribute, but yeah, that, that flow and how it's going, it's, this is not quintessentially him. But do some vibes so far. I like it. I know Cleopatra at the pyramids of night. Cinderella bears, I got bucket seats inside. Roll a bad wood with my enemies inside. Hey, okay. Yeah. What's that for text when first time I see you naked? I didn't say it to bring me, but you taste the baby. Say you're coming home and give me that goodness break. That part. say from what i'm getting from this and the previous one it's just you know something you put on in the car to vibe to a little bit of those late night vibes put something in the background during a gathering oftentimes the men who would listen to drake would always say you know this is for the hoes right this is for the women you know you bring over a woman this is the songs that just gets them as Kendrick would say, pacified, right? You know, light background music, nothing too deep, nothing to think about. You can even pay attention to it. In fact, 
the value of it is for you not paying attention to it because it sets an ambience, right? It sets something for you just to be comfortable within, to pacify yourself, you know, and just to make it a, a vibe that you can, a, an environment where you can just melt into and just be comfortable in, you know, and uh, think through this track, the previous track, and I want to assume the next track, which I'm yet to listen to, No Face, um, is along those lines, you know, just chill, comfy. Shawty wanna ride at the Four Seasons Shawty wanna ride at the Four Seasons Shawty wanna ride at the Four Seasons I'm watching the moves playing the color S.O.B. Super Soul Rainy days, is and earth, matching coke I'll take back what I said earlier, actually. I think he probably wrote the verses. The verses quintessential Drake. You can trace that back to however long. But yeah, that this chorus here had someone else's. I'm watching the moves play the club. So I'm more enjoyable than the last one. As you can see, um, uh, you know, I had a little jig, a little, moved a little, a little bit of shoulder in there, you know, a little bit of shoulder movement, a little bit, of, a little bit of head nodding there. It was a bit of a vibe. It's a really good vibe. Drake did what he did best on this one. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad at all. Um, I mean, but nothing, you know, I wouldn't come to not expect from Drake. But yeah, again, um, I think he did his thing on this one. Uh, good collaboration from him and his ghostwriter on this one. Um, and yeah, on to the next one. I'll say he's, he's one for two. One, well, one for three. We're yet to listen to the next one, so we'll see you on the next one.